Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solutions to the honors speed of sound practice problems one. Let's take a look at problem one. An ocean fishing boat is drifting just above a school of tuna on a foggy day where the air temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Without warning, an engine backfire occurs on another boat 1.25 kilometers away as shown in figure one. How much time elapses before the backfire is heard A, by the fish, and B, by the fishermen? And we are told that the speed of sound in seawater is 1,560 meters per second. Let's take a look and see what we're given here. We are told that the air temperature uh, is 18 degrees Celsius. We are told that the boat that backfires is 1.25 kilometers away from both the fish and the fishermen. So we know we have to convert that to meters. So 1.25 kilometers will equal 1,250 meters. I know the speed of sound in seawater is 1,560 meters per second. And we are looking for the time it takes for that sound wave to reach the fish and the time it takes for that sound wave to reach the fisherman. Let's do the time it takes to reach the fish first. So I know that the, um, the distance that it travels is 1,560 meters. Uh, I'm sorry, is uh, 1,000. Let's try that again. The distance the sound wave has to travel is 1,250 meters. It moves at a speed of 1,560 meters per second. So to find the time, I just need to use my velocity formula. Distance equals velocity times the time. And to solve that for the time it takes to reach the fish, I know I have to divide the distance by the speed of the sound wave in the water. So 1,250 meters divided by 1,560 meters per second will give me a time of 0 0.801 seconds, which would really be 0 0.80 seconds because I think, actually, no, that one should be three sig figs because we aren't using the air temperature in that problem. So three sig figs is correct for that. For part B, how long does it take that sound wave to reach the fishman? We know the sound wave for that is going to be traveling through the air. So I need to find how fast the sound wave is going to be moving at air, in air at 18 degrees Celsius. My first step is to convert my temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Once again, to do that is a very simple procedure. I just take my Celsius temperature and add 273 Kelvin to that. So 18 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvin will give me a, um, an air temperature of 301 Kelvin. Now to find the speed of the sound wave, I use my speed of sound in air formula, and that is going to be 331 meters per second times the square root of my Kelvin temperature divided by 273 Kelvin. I plug my value of 301 Kelvin into that formula, and I'm going to get a velocity of the sound wave in air at 18 degrees Celsius of 347.6 meters per second. Now I can go back to my velocity formula, just like I did with the fish. So to find the time it takes to reach the fisherman, I take my distance, which is still 1,250 meters. I divide it by the speed that the sound wave is traveling through the air, which is 347.6 meters per second. And the time it takes for that sound wave to reach the fisherman is 3.6 seconds, which is also two, two significant figures because I had two significant figures in my air temperature over there. I think that's it for this problem. Let's move on to problem number two. Problem two, a group of hikers hears an echo 3.00 seconds after shouting. If the temperature is 22.0 degrees Celsius, how far away is the mountain that reflected the sound wave? So we hear, uh, we know that the time of the echo is 3.00 seconds. The air temperature is 22.0 degrees Celsius. And we want to know the distance to the mountain that reflected the sound wave. So if we have our mountain here, there's my mountain. Here are my hikers. 
tall hikers or a very short mountain, I don't know. When they shout, the sound wave has to go to the mountain and then it reflects off of the mountain and has to come back to the hikers. So the distance between the hikers and the mountain is actually equal to one half of the time it takes for that sound wave to leave the hikers, reflect off the mountain, and then go back. So to get the time or the distance to the mountain, I need to know what one half of the value of the time is. So the time that I need to use to determine the uh, the distance is going to be one half of the time it takes for the echo to return to the hikers. So three seconds divided by two is going to equal 1.50 seconds. Now to determine the speed of the sound wave in air at 22 degrees Celsius, I need to know the air temperature in Kelvin. So once again, I have to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. So I'm going to take my 22 degrees Celsius, add 273 Kelvin, and I will have an air temperature of 295 Kelvin. I then take that temperature, plug it into my speed of sound in air formula. And when I plug 295 Kelvin into that formula, I'm going to get a speed of the sound wave of 344 meters per second. So now I know how fast it's going. I know how long it takes to travel that distance, I can use those to find the distance. So the distance equals velocity times the time. So 344 meters per second times 1.50 seconds will give me a distance of 5.16 meters between the hikers and the mountain. Problem three. The speed of sound in a column of air is measured to be 356 meters per second. What is the temperature of the air in degrees Celsius? In this problem, we are given the speed of the sound wave, which is 356 meters per second, and we are being asked to find the air temperature in degrees Celsius. For this one, I am going to do a kind of the reverse uh, of how I did the previous problems. I am going to start with the speed and then try to find the temperature. So I'm still going to use my speed of sound in air formula, but this time I'm going to solve for the temperature. And remember, this formula will give me the temperature in Kelvin. I always use Kelvin temperatures in this formula. I can't plug Celsius temperatures into it, and it will not give me Celsius temperatures. So when I rearrange this formula to solve for the temperature, because it's inside the radical, I do have to square everything. And when I do that, I am going to get the temperature in Kelvin equals 273 Kelvin times V squared divided by 331 meters per second squared plug my known value for the velocity into the equation, and that is going to give me an air temperature of 316 Kelvin. Now I can convert that temperature to Celsius. And to convert from Kelvin to Celsius, I simply take my Kelvin temperature, subtract 273 Kelvin from that, and when I subtract 273 Kelvin from 316 Kelvin, that will give me an air temperature of 43 degrees Celsius.